Hello everyone, this is Sandeep from Tutorial Brain and in this quick video, we are going to see how we can use brackets code editor to code PHP. Before we get started, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell icon. Now, as we know that PHP is a server-side scripting language so it requires a web server to run so if you're using windows or linux or mac you have to use a local web server now if i just go to my browser you have a lot of options for a local web server for example we have zamp or we have vamp or we have mamp okay so these three are very popular software packages that contains local web server so there are a lot of local web servers and the most popular local web servers are Apache or NGIX and this software package for example XAMPP or VAMP or MAMP they all contains Apache web server pre-installed in it. So you don't have to install any other local web server apart from that. right? So what I will do is if I just search for here for example XAMPP you see that I will get this link and from here you can just download XAMPP based on whether you are using Windows, Linux or Mac. right? Now if you want to install VAMP you can just search for VAMP download and you can just download VAMP from here and in case if you want to use MAMP you can download MAMP from here. Alright now in my case I have already installed VAMP so out of these three the most popular is XAMPP but I like VAMP so I have already installed VAMP in this particular location okay so by default VAMP has installed in this particular location now we will just see how we can run PHP code in brackets so what I have to do is first we have to start our local web server on which we have to run PHP so as we have installed VAMP so what I'll do is I'll just click here VAMP and I'll just click on this app that is VAMP, VAMP Server 64, right? So I just want to start VAMP and VAMP will be started running. Now in case if you're using XAMPP, you just have to go to XAMPP. In, in the search box, you just search XAMPP and you have to just start XAMPP. Now if I just click here, you see that now if it shows a green icon, right? So just wait for say 15-20 seconds and you'll see that a green icon will appear here which says that Apache server is already running. So this is the very first step that you have to make sure that the Apache web server is running in VAMP, XAMPP or MAMP, whatever software package you are using. Now at start it will be in red color and then it will turn to orange and at last it will be in green color. So you can see that at last it is in green color that means Apache web server is running in this software package that is VAMP. Now after we have made sure that our local server is running now what we have to do is I'll just come here and let me just create a folder so it is better if I just come to this particular path and I'll just go to www so if you are using XAMPP then you have to go to htdocs now in this case if you are using VAMP or MAMP you can just go to www right so if I just come here I'll just create a folder so I can give any name as per my choice and I'll just give here for example brackets and inside that I'll keep all my files so let me just go to my brackets code editor and here I'll just go to file and open folder and I want to select this folder okay so I'll just go to C and I'll just go to XAMPP or VAMP. See, I have already installed XAMPP as well, but I use VAMP a lot. So I've, uh, I've just selected this VAMP and I'll just go to www and I'll just click on brackets. Now, let me just come back. And what I just wanted to show you is that if you're using XAMPP, then you have to click on XAMPP and then you have to go to stdocs. So here you have to create a folder. So at this moment, I'll just use VAMP. So I have to just search for VAMP64 and then www. 
and then brackets, right? And I'll just select this folder. So this is my project actually, where I'll create all the files. So once I'll select that, it should appear in my brackets code editor. And here, what I'll do is, I'll just give right click and I'll just create a new file. So I'll just give say for example index.php and I'll just go to file and I have to first set the project settings. Now it is very important to go to this particular project settings and set the live preview base URL. Now if my folder is brackets then I have to just give the live preview base URL as http colon localhost forward slash brackets. Sometimes if I just uh, delete it for example, sometimes you can see that localhost can be http colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 8000 and after that you can just give the name of the project. But in my it is localhost and then I'll just give the name of the folder. So it is brackets and I'll just click on done. That means this project URL is set up properly. Now I'll just come to this file and what I'll do is I'll just write code. For example, let me just give PHP and let me just close this. And let me just give something for example echo. I'll just say hello and let me just save it. Now if I just go to this live preview, you notice if I just click on this live preview, this particular uh, file will run on browser and please note that this particular file is running in the browser through the local server that is Apache server which we have used in VAMP. So VAMP already contains Apache server inbuilt so you don't have to install a local server separately right. So you see that now this code has run. So in this way you can use brackets code editor to run PHP. Thanks a lot for joining. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. I will try to answer it. So thanks for watching it. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Take care. Bye.